Happy Pride. Let's do some data science, edit Wikipedia, and advance LGBT activism. If you want to edit Wikipedia and you're not familiar with it, the first step that I recommend is post a comment or question in a public discussion forum, find collaborators, and get their help and support and advice. If you have something gay that you want to do and you already know about it, post that in any forum in Wikipedia, say, hey, I'm looking for somebody to help me, and people will refer you. If you don't have an idea for what you want to do, you can go into any forum and say, hey, who's doing something gay? I'd like to collaborate with them, and then you'll also get those referrals. If you want to start in a gay forum, I recommend the forum at Wiki Project LGBT Studies, Wiki Loves Pride, or Wikimedia LGBT, all of which have existing gay communities who are doing all kinds of projects in Wikipedia. Wikipedia. If you want to see the data side of Wikipedia, you're going to jump from Wikipedia to Wikidata. And the reason why I think that you should check this out and understand how it works is if you see the structured data side of Wikidata, you will better understand data science and you will better understand how information is indexed on the internet and how it is made machine readable. Something that needs to be done in Wikipedia and Wikidata that there's a lot of work to do and you can easily find tasks to do are look up the Wikipedia article for LGBT culture in and then any country in the world. If it doesn't exist, then you can make that entry in Wikidata. If it does exist, you might see a Wikipedia article for it. And you can still, there's still gonna be things to do in the Wikidata item for it. Something that's easy to add to these, these kinds of articles or entries in Wikidata is go to LGBT culture in whatever country and add significant events. Go out, leave Wikipedia, go into library resources or internet resources and find significant events in any country or any capital city or any place that you want to log and match that entry in Wikidata with the particular significant event. And if you do it this way, you start to build up LGBT history, you do it once and it's done forever, it circulates around the internet. If you can understand how Wikidata is logging these things, then you will get enlightenment for yourself and gay enlightenment for everyone else who reads this stuff. Thanks, check it out.